Shazam! Hey everybody, happy holidays here from Underdeveloped, and here we are with the finale of our Christmas season here today. Uh, yeah, surviving Hallmark Christmas cringe. Yeah, part two, because, uh, yeesh, we couldn't have enough of that gingerbread romance. Yeah, sorry if we came off offensive in that video, we, uh, that one was a rough one to get through, but hopefully you found some entertainment in that video, because that's yeah. why we made it. We made it so you guys could laugh at our pain. Exactly. And get ready to do, do it again, because we have another one for you guys. <laughs> yeah these move i mean if last movie's an indicator this these really bring the worst out of us and hopefully it's just funny <laughs> hopefully you have yeah, a good time i'm just hoping that nick could like break down like how we did back way back when we watched the uh, first 50 shades of gray and i could just get i could just enjoy it <laughs> um that's the only reason why i'm really watching this i, I just want to see him break down and all right man so yeah without ado what's, the, what's this movie i, I even bother him. this movie is called every christmas has a story and what is it about it is about a reporter who goes to a sm- who goes back to a small town and learns small town values because, of course, it is. Okay, g- good job because I-, I want him to find the most, the most overused <laughs> plot of this co- of this kind of movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, and boy, do we find it? Career oriented girl go back to a small town. That's like this backbone of every Hallmark Christmas movie. So yeah. you found it. So this is like the traditional. Oh, my Christmas crap. Yes, so. because modernity bad, tradition good. Yep. Woman doing well for herself bad. Woman caring to husband good. Yep, so, you know, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Lori Lachlan. Yep. From Full House. Movie that I grew up watching. Good morning, Los Angeles. Let's make a day of it. Give you a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy New Year. We'll see you next year. Music. Roll credits. Have nice mercy. Work, everyone. Wow. Kenny, that was great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And boom, we're out. That's a wrap. Good job, everybody. Nice work. Nice work. Good job. Nice. Good job, everybody. Merry Christmas. You've earned it, right? Good job. Perhaps you'd allow me to give you an early Christmas gift. Oh, that's from your personal collection. This is one of my favorites. It's from a little town in Norway, very old, one of a kind. Oh, well, that's very generous, but actually, I don't have a Christmas tree. Thank you so much. Congratulations. All right. How do you celebrate Christmas? Audio's live. Well, the truth is, I'm not You're on the a Christmas air. person. Guys! What about Christmas carols and all the presents, the lights? I know all those things are fine. I, I don't have anything against Christmas. Well, uh, and, and How dare someone not celebrate Christmas? Christmas. So <sighs> evil. Kenny, I wouldn't know. Do you notice every fucking frame, every fucking shot has some kind of sound if it's not music or a sound effect? Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm watching a, a Nickelodeon show. Mm-hmm. Like from like Scott Fellows, like Nancy Classified and Big Time Rush, they always had a sound effect every fucking 10 seconds. Not if you put a ribbon around it and sent it to me by reindeer. Audio's live! Excuse me. Well, I'm, I'm Somebody needs to get fired. Give yourself a chance. Yeah, the guy, the <laughs> asshole who fucking I know. I threw just, his headset like on Christmas. his keyboard <laughs> to get fired. To be fired. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah. Totally audio. fired. Totally fired. <laughs> Please tell me we were off the air. Nope. It was an accident. Obviously, it was an accident. Everybody saw it was an accident. Then why do you keep saying it? Perception, Look, dude. The music was playing. Cause you're already kind of pissing people off. So they kind of want to believe that now. Yeah. Especially since this is the, the world where everyone's and no one angry at you for not celebrating anymore. Christmas. Cause how dare you? How dare you not like Christmas? It's, ah. like, it's like that movie Christmas with the cranks. Every, like this is because they wanted to skip Christmas when you everyone would fucking give them what so much that? shit. That's what Tim Allen? Yeah, Tim Allen and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. So he did another Christmas movie? You already like Santa Claus. It's like yeah. the Christmas movie. He, he did another one and it was not nearly as good. Yeah, hey, I remember when I, remember when I, was, I never saw it, but I remember when I was coming out. My, I saw it quite a few times because my mom likes it a lot. It's not a good movie. But don't she like every Christmas movie you ever made? Mostly, yeah. And she watched them like like this? Yes. <laughs> Go back to the previous video where we talk about how my mom looks when she watches movies. Oh, did you put that in a video? I did. <laughs> this fills me with warm joy. 
How, how do you not roast her for that every time she does it? I have roasted her for that. I've taken a picture of her doing that and shown it to her, and she laughed her ass off. <laughs> okay, at least, she has to at least she knows that's funny. Oh, Miss Harper. I hate that assistant so much. <laughs> she's not a real person. <laughs> she's a robot. Yeah, she's a robot plant here from the Hallmark Overlords. Honestly. Live announcement by morning show host Kate Harper that, quote, I just don't like Christmas. It's not a big deal. So Who gives a shit? It's just says you don't like Christmas. No one cares. It's not a big fucking deal. They make, in these movies, they make stuff Christmas is everything. Yeah. It's not like the 50s, bro. No one gives a fuck anymore. Exactly. Shit, people don't even be having, like, my, my parents don't even be having Christmas trees in their house anymore. No one cares anymore. Like, seriously, even then... Christmas is a marketed scheme to make money. <laughs> definitely is. Because, like, even then, it's not like anyone... It's like everyone in the world is fucking Christian or something. Jeez. Exactly. People celebrate Hanukkah. People celebrate Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. Kwanzaa is more for Africans. Yeah, there's and like, Hanukkah is for Jewish I know people. there's, like, other pagan holidays that Christmas originally stemmed from. Like, there's a lot of holidays around in December. Exactly. Christmas is like... Mm. This America is really tail of fucking like you know yeah. like we're, we're good we're taking this idea and we're going to commercialize the fuck out of it make a whole bunch of money it's an accident <sighs> it was an accident turn off the tv kate why you say it like that what yeah is You're he watching is he like ghost face yeah, yeah right we have a meeting tomorrow morning with lauren and she doesn't sound happy <sighs> Like the truth, like, this is some like the like the Watergate scandal or some shit. Like it's not that deep. It's the, Needless to say, yeah, it's like she's getting what? Having a few of them You're like boycotting? This. You got to be joking! <laughs> this is you swear to God, she's like Monica Lewinsky or some shit. She's getting canceled over not liking Chris. She's getting canceled. Yeah. You think she's fucking? Roseanne Barr or fucking like Bill Cosby or some shit. Yeah, you like, think, think she's getting Me Too? She's getting she's getting Christmas Me yeah, Too. Yeah. Darren. The video from the show went viral in record time. Over five million views and counting. No likes. You're also trending big time. What's trending? Hashtag Harper hates the holidays. I, I never said that. Hashtag but send Kate Cole for Christmas. Yeah, like it's a fucking, oh, oh God, oh, like it's a fucking scandal. It's not a scandal, it's just like Christmas. Who cares? Hollyville? Hello, Kate Harper. I'm Ted Drysdale. Mayor of Hollyvale, North Dakota, the biggest little Christmas town in the country. What is this? Now, I know you're probably asking yourself, what's going on here? Well, a lot of us saw your TV show <laughs> this morning. Well, that's and so darn it if it didn't get time. us to talking. And we decided, what better way for Kate Harper to find her Christmas spirit than to come and visit us right oh here in Hollywood, where this we've got plot plenty so to spare. Much. It's dumb. So we'd like to invite this is the you. Dumbest come thing. On up. At least uh, I, I prefer Ginger. I'm not gonna lie to you. At least, at least I prefer Ginger. This is oh my god. This is just <laughs> oh my god. This is so stupid. Yeah, so stupid. I had a feeling it might actually be worse, which is why we're watching it. Second. Like, like, <laughs> like Gingerbread Romance wasn't stupid. It was just bad. Mm -hmm. Like very, very bad. But this movie's also stupid. <laughs> this is Mia Walker, reporting for Hollyvale I, News. I think Lori Lachlan's in prison too, I think, for uh, that scandal. This is Mia Walker, reporting no, is she? for Hollyvale <laughs> News. Back oh, do you mean a college Walker. scandal that she was involved in? Yeah, like she tried to pay for a kid to get into fucking college or something. Some, some shit like that, yeah. This is Mia Walker, reporting for Hollyvale News. Back to you, Bob. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Welcome to Hollyvale Inn. How can I? Hi. We have a reservation. Let's make a day of it. Kate Harper. <sighs> that delivery is so cringe. Tell you why Zoe would have delivered a line better than that. This movie would be way better if Tommy Wiseau showed up and just punched her in the face. Yes. This is such an honor. I'm such a big fan. Kate Harper in my hotel. Wow. I, I don't mean my hotel. It's not like I own the place. Wow, well, these it's lines just, coming out of my here, mouth. Wow, ain't this exciting. I'm totally not I'm nervous just saying things because I don't know what they mean. I don't usually or talk just too nervous much. to say oh, happens to Kate all the time. Miss Harper, I know you probably hear this all the time, but you're actually the reason I'm studying journalism in school. Really? 
I mean, I don't ever expect to be like you with the whole country watching and all, but you inspire me. I think what you do is important, and I think you're the best at it. Thank you, Mia. Yeah, you deliver lines like a robot. I think you're the best at it. No emotion, no kind of like, oh, so great meeting yeah. you. Like, no, no kind of like sentimentality and maybe a little tear, a little, 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 little light, light, a little speckle in the eye. Nothing. Yeah. You're not pacing yourself like how normal being being exactly. talked to. Exactly. You're, just you're rushing the lines out. out. Who's directing this crap? Star on the Christmas tree. Miss Harper, I cannot tell you what an honor it is to meet you. Though, I feel as if we're old friends after watching you all these years. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you too, <laughs> Mr. Mayor. This is my producer, Jack Bruce Dupont. Mr. Mayor. Oh, you too. We don't stand on ceremony around here. Call me Ted. Take a load God, off. Okay. I still got it. it, it well, uh, first off, uh, Ted. This is, oh my God, this is so fucking. The invitation. Oh, this is, uh, this is christmas mm -hmm. Like This is another bit. I can find a better name. What's another word for? What's another Chris? What's, a, what's a, like a festive name I could use that, that, that reps Christmas? Like um, christmas sanity. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean like actual, like. like Chrismiology. No, no, no. Not, not, not with Christmas in the title, but like. Maybe another variation of like Christmas, like like something that, oh uh, maybe Feliz Navidad. Um, like what's like what's, what's, what's other words for like Christmas, like that only said involves Christmas. Jingleism. Yeah, something like <laughs> night thinking some some more some more of that. Um, yeah, word. I f this is the cult jingletology. She about to join jingletology. Very seriously. That's what makes us the biggest little Christmas town in the country. Like the sun says. <laughs> How are you not getting creeped out by this? Uh, how are you not getting creeped out by this? This guy is a creep. <laughs> I hear this, hear this maniac. Here, call me Ted. Take a load off. Okay. Let's chat. Well, uh, first Let's off, Let's chat. Uh, Ted, thank you so much for the invitation. Uh, it's very generous of you to open up your town. She the metaverse. Like they say, tis the season. It's all at the end and she just takes off her thing. She's like, <laughs> oh, that was a cool ride. I like to think that this is like secretly a spinoff of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Yeah, like they're, they're actually legitimately more creepy and alien here than they come across Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Honestly, <laughs> what I've seen of Hollyvale, you folks take the season very seriously. That's what makes us the biggest little Christmas town in the country. In the country, like the sign says, <laughs> makes us the biggest little Christmas town of the country. <laughs> like you know, they sound—they all sound like salesmen. They do. They this really is all do. one giant marketing scheme to sell Christmas to. They trying to sell them Christmas insurance. Mm hmm Our town is your town. And Ms. Harper, Kate, I meant what I said about you coming to Hollyvale to find your Christmas spirit. And that's exactly why we're here, to help Kate discover the joys of Christmas and also to see what's so special about Christmas to Hollyvale. You're going to be doing a segment on the news every night this week right here from town. That's right. So we're going to be on televisions all over the country. And on our website. Yeah, I got to sell me some Christmas. Okay, so Christmas to the entire nation. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's interesting. Like a giant plot so they could sell Christmas. Yeah. That would be. That would be funny. That would be. That would be interesting. It would. Or there was like some secret, like evil plan revolved yes. around it. Kind of like how Halloween three did, like selling marketing Halloween. That would be interesting. Why are we coming up with better ideas for horror variations of this movie? This movie is actually. Right, is. I need to say it better than anything this movie has to offer. <laughs> hey, Ted, that sounds just fine. Oh God, what's that look, face? Look at his face! Look at this guy's face! I've had. I have to use this awful, ugly ass face in the thumbnail. He looks creepy as shit. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, oh, come in. I know you guys have been working all day. I figured you might be hungry. We squeezed the apples right here in town for the cider and I made the cookies myself. Oh, thanks, Mia. Oh my gosh, you're working on the show right now? That is so cool. We're on the show right now? That is so cool. That is so cool. It is very impressive that you're doing this right that now, you very humans. Impressive. That is very impressive that you're doing that. Listen gently all the way around the circle. For those of you at home, this is a wonderful way to start your Christmas season. And then you can just attach yeah, the glue gun. Oh, pop it right Look at on that top. That beautiful snowflake, folks. This is just gorgeous. Okay, these are beautiful. I can't believe you've made these all by hand. <laughs> amazing, amazing stuff here in Hollyvale. You know, my mother had a secret ingredient when it came to decorating gingerbread houses. Oh, and what was that? Always add just a sprinkle of love. <gasps> Dude. That's not okay. <laughs> canceled much? Yeah, why isn't this dude getting canceled? Jeez. Yeah, right? He's be the one that's getting fucking people. 
Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. My pleasure. I, uh, I hope you don't mind if Charlie keeps working back there. We kind of overdid it with the Christmas lights and blew an outlet. No problem. We're all set. Okay. <clears throat> Great. <clears throat> I'm ready. All right. And roll cameras. Roll. And action. Mayor Drysdale, let me just start by saying you have a lovely town. Well, thank you. We're pretty proud of it. When you walk along the streets of Hollyvale or talk to the people, it really does feel like Christmas. The biggest little Christmas town in the country. And with Christmas being such an important part of this town, you have to wonder why the Hollis family stopped giving Christmas trees to Hollyvale. Wait, what? <laughs> well, it's been a tradition for so many generations, but two years ago, it suddenly stopped. Uh, I, I, you said we were going to talk about the town. Two years ago, which was also the year that you became mayor, wasn't it? <laughs> well, that, that's right, but it's, it, it's got nothing, nothing. So are you saying it's a coincidence that the trees stopped coming after your election? Uh, absolutely, of course. And you have no idea the reason? I, I, I'm going to have to cut this short. <laughs> I, I have Someone's guilty. Just been called to an emergency yeah. town council meeting. Mr. Mayor, uh, you folks enjoy the rest of your visit. And <laughs> if, if you have any more questions, uh, can you be um, more guilty? Successful family want to cut himself off from the world. Maybe a Christmas tree is just the tip of the iceberg. You're getting into this, aren't you? No. Just, just as long as we have something to give to Lauren to put on air by the end no, of the day. He just wants I'm to good. spend time with you. He just wants I to collect his paycheck and go oh, it home. Says, um, Yep, and stay on this road that. for 22 miles. Yeah. Kind of getting into it. <laughs> There's nothing out here. Are you sure this is right? No, it, yeah, it says right here. Oh, no. I think we just lost the signal. You think? No. We definitely lost the signal. Oh, okay. Anything? No. You? No. How far do you think we were from the house? It's beautiful. Yeah. I don't see anybody. Try the door. We can't just walk in. This is a nice coat, Jack, but I'm starting to freeze just out Just ring the damn bell, you morons. It's right there. <laughs> Locked. Just ring it. It's on screen. Okay, now they're bringing it into it. Actual crimes right here. Home? I don't think you do. I've been calling their cell phones all morning, and I haven't reached either one of them. That is not acceptable. No, ma'am, but that's the thing. Miss Harper and Mr. Brewster left early this morning, and they haven't come back yet. Left? Where did they go? Why are you hollering at her? She doesn't work for you. Cell phones don't work. Don't work? What kind of town are you running up there? I'm not actually in charge, so... What is your name? Mia. Mia Walker. I'm going to be a journalism student well, at... Ms. Walker, I want you to find them. And when you do, you tell them to call me immediately. Do you understand? She's just Absolutely, a teenage employee at the don't inn. Worry. What the I'm fuck so is your honest. authority to command or anything? <laughs> Because she's the boss and not everyone is supporting her. <laughs> she's the boss of everyone. Yes, that's she's the boss, boss of Christmas. Boss of everything. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to us like that, you better put on a payroll. Ted Drysdale is like a brother to me. So then why doesn't he want to talk about the tree? Maybe because that's the only way he doesn't have to admit that I let him down. I let everybody down. I don't understand. We all grew up right here. Me and Ted and... Uh, girl named Amanda Clark. Uh, we went to school together. And then Amanda Clark and died in really a horrible tree incident. That's why Ted always said that he knew long before anyone else that Amanda and I would end up married. You know, Ted, he was my best man. And I loved that girl so much. And she loved Christmas, especially that tree that we put up every year. Yeah, the tree that fell over and crushed her death. What happened? Well, about three years ago, we we had just finished putting up the Christmas tree, and uh, the whole town had come out to celebrate, decorate, you know, same as we did every year. 
Amanda called and said that she... Thank God, an hour. I know, right? That hour mark. We're at the home stretch. I literally thought we watched two and a half hour movies, three hour movies that <laughs> felt shorter than this. Yes, and Actually, Harry Potter felt shorter than this. That Harry was like Potter 2030. Has... She was like a little kid, you know. She was on her way there, and... Uh, There was, there was an accident. Did the tree fall on her? Oh, I'm so sorry. It was like something broke inside of me. And I just couldn't bear to put up the tree and see it standing there all bright, full of life. Not without her. Yeah. I can't see the, see, I can't see the tree the same way after it squished my love interest and just <laughs> my bare entrails all over the floor. <laughs> It was quite I horrifying. I think that's the kind of thing. What do you mean missing? <laughs> don't worry. The sheriff's putting the search team together right now. A search team? This is terrible. No, hey, they're really good at finding people. Yes, 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 I'm sure. I'm talking about this is the kind of thing we need right now. Excuse me? <laughs> Sympathy. For Kate. Yeah, she's a replicant. She's like a robot. When word gets out that she's yeah. lost yeah. in a storm in the middle of yeah, Christmas Yeah, she's, uh, she's Deckard's daughter from the future. <sighs> yeah. But how am I supposed to get a reporter up there in time to cover this story? Um, Miss Foster? I have an idea. Breaking news tonight out of North Dakota. Morning show host Kate Harper and her producer Jack Bruce have been reported dead. Why is it black and white? Is it black and white? They're not dead yet. Dakota, relax. Our reporter is standing by with details. Are they going to try Thank and you, kill Paul. them for the We're fucking here. what? Oh yeah, that's obviously what they're alluding to. They're, alluding to. they're going to have her be the reporter. Kate that's literally why they have her to be a reporter. How did it been that stupid? Of course they're that stupid. It's a homework movie. Oh hey. <laughs> Did you? Oh, you're listening. Hi. Yeah, we're here. We're here. A new development in tonight's story in Hollyvale, North Dakota. Kate Harper and Jack Brewster have been found safe and unharmed. More details to follow. Back to you, Paul. Hello, Catherine. Is that her dad? Dad. Yep. <laughs> They mention him and he's immediately a character now. You can go over here. That is so. Well, I'm like, he was in the pictures. You should get looking at the movie. I'm fine. True, but it's been well, so long since she walked out of them. Storm. I was afraid I'd waited too long to do this. What are you doing exactly? I finally got the cigarettes, girl. I wanted to see you. I got them for you. Why? We don't even know each other. I, I came here because I wanted to I leave you all over sorry. again. That'd be really funny. You said that in your letters. Why come all this way to apologize now? I saw your show. I heard what you said about how you don't like Christmas. I knew I'd done that to you. Don't feel sorry for me. That's not it. I can't. Yep. They're really doing this. They're linking childhood trauma and abandonment to Christmas. Yep. That's why you don't like Christmas because of your issues. So yeah. yeah, you don't like Christmas. Just like in God's Not Dead, how he's an atheist because he hates God, because that makes sense. <laughs> These mo movies like this are just so fucking stupid. Came from a long way. Oh bullshit! You're just gonna try and get her to forgive him. Half my life, I imagined getting a hug from my father on Christmas. Moved to Vermont. I wanted to be with you, Jack, more than anything. But I couldn't because I, I had to know that I could take care of myself. And I had to make sure that if anything ever happened, that no one could, could ever hurt me the way that he did. And that's totally fair. I would never hurt you. Kate. I love you. I never stopped. Just fuck already. Jack. We can't do this. Why not? Because, because I'm in love with me. my dad. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Yes, I'm fine. Ted, what's going on here? That's the reason I wanted to talk to you. To thank you. Thank me for what? We're pretty proud of our town, of the Christmas spirit we have here. But we also know it sounds a little old-fashioned these days. Uh, biggest little Christmas town 
isn't exactly a draw in the digital age. Well, yeah, it's a lovely day. because modernity you bad, sure to tradition that. good. These people are here law. because of you, Kate. You showed them Hollyvale and all its Christmas glory, and they came to see for themselves. Yes, the Grinch came Thank and you. saved Christmas. The Grinch gave us uh, the gift of tourism. We're a hard group, two sizes that you and day. Jack in danger yesterday. Mm. And she gave all the who's that down and who built oh, all their presents back. <laughs> yeah. 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 This was a pathetic, lame ripoff. Well, yeah. You see, there was another reason. Of all of the grumpy ass Hollywood fucking down. Christmas stories, we this is the worst one. Of ours to find your Christmas spirit. And maybe we could get you out there to talk to Vernon. You would stir something up in him again. That makes no was, sense. Zero sense. He lost a man. <laughs> You, you, you should have had nefarious purposes. That would have made it interesting. Tree, yeah. Millicent, the warehouse, that was all for my benefit? We're all big fans of yours, Kate. <laughs> you the plot nice twist is that they wired to follow the breadcrumb trail to begin with. That is so lame. And for that, that is the worst I plot twist I have ever seen. We figure this out sooner. There are a couple of people who aren't here tonight that I would like to... Well, I'd like another chance to show them that Kate Harper has found her Christmas spirit. <laughs> yeah, let's get Terry eyes so we can make this feel like it's worth it. Yeah, it, it's such an emotional journey. So many things have happened, so much emotional turmoil. Spirit, we have a very special visitor, Doug Mia, come on. It's going to be, yeah, oh, I thought he was going to be just a Santa. Okay, he's an elf. I know. It, He's Jack. like the world's oldest elf. Jack, I thought you left. Never. Jack, it's I Christmas. thought you left. Jack, I would never forgive you if you left without fucking me first. He brought the tree. Oh, it's beautiful. And now, all you need is Santa Claus. Oh, her dad's the Santa, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forgive him. He doesn't deserve it. Fuck you. You give me another chance. He lived, it, he lived your ass for to get milk and cookies to the store and didn't come back. Yeah. Fuck you. Thank you. <laughs> that was Santa Claus the whole time. Like the yes. That's why he left. He left leave for the North Pole and never came back. Sarper? Hey, Sarper? Hey, still live on the air. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! And of course, the kiss to see the movie. Yes. yes. Fuck you, fucker! This is, remember, audience, this is for the movie, not for you. No, fuck you too! <laughs> Piece of shit! <laughs> oh my god. god. Why does this exist? Oh, Alright, so what is the one movie? Oh, it's a timeless classic Christmas masterpiece. Truly one of the greatest films of our time. Quentin Tarantino could never make a movie this good. Yeah, your girl's laughing most who? Nah, never. <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. This movie's dog shit. Oh, what's your score? My score is a lobotomy out of 10 because lobotomy is what I would love for Christmas after watching this. Um, I give it probably a gonorrhea penis out of 100. That sounds accurate. Yeah. Penis full gonorrhea. Picture of herpes. Yeah. I thought you were going to say... Anal warts, anal warts out of 100. Well, good, because anal warts out of 10 would have been too high. This movie is horrible. Uh, I can't tell which one's worse. Cause gi gi I mean, at least, at least Gingerbread Romance had some laughter. This just made me hate, 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 hate even more. Mm -hmm. This movie just is so bad. Terrible lessons. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, forgive the people who do horrible things to you and yeah. and fuck your own sense of self-worth because you don't celebrate Christmas. That means you're an awful yes, person. If you don't believe in Christmas spirit, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. No, you're a self-made, yeah, you're a self-made woman. Something well, your, is your wrong job with you. Can never, if you have the Christmas spirit, you. something is mentally wrong with you. You need help, baby love. Yeah, because your job is enough to satisfy you. You need to get, you need to be submissive to a husband because of course you do. Because modernity bad, tradition good. Fuck these movies. <laughs> fuck these movies trying to fuck in their stupid goddamn pandering to fucking 
<laughs> if you enjoyed our pain and suffering, you know, um, please support and stay tuned for other reactions because we actually have good movies coming. Yeah. Well, movies that we think are good coming. So we have good movies, good shows, yeah, more better reviews, stuff. Po some podcasts. Every, every, every currently going to create. Yeah, and we also have to get on that top ten list we're going to be doing soon. Yeah, that top ten list that yeah. should be coming like next week probably. Yeah, because this is this be well, Christmas, it, so it, yeah. <laughs> it'll, probably, it'll probably be coming out uh, early New early New Year's. Mm -hmm. Just because you know we have to. I think there's one or two more movies we have to see. As we see quite a few movies actually. Yeah, there, thankfully most of them are on streaming, so it's not yeah, that we, big we, of a deal. We we, we have to be watching our own time. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Anyways, that's enough rambling from us today. Please, I hope I hope this was all worth it. I hope you like this. I hope you had I had some laughs, had a good time because that's why we did it. Also, because we hate ourselves apparently, so that's why we suffered through this movie. But with that being said, you better fucking like and subscribe. If you made it this far and haven't liked and subscribed, you're the problem, man. Do it now, please. Suffered for you. Yes. That's the least you can do for us is like and subscribe and preferably press the bell icon for notifications. But that being said, have a happy holidays and we'll see you all next time for better stuff than this. Ah!